Well, how did that one feel? Um, yeah, it felt really good. Obviously, um, it's been a really frustrating year for us and um, to finally get some reward for the effort we're putting in and for the work we've done throughout the whole year um, was really pleasing. Um, and yeah, it was just a good reward for everyone in our footy club who's been work, working really hard. Can you just take six to Burns and tell us what's it like, what's the feeling in there at the moment after that week? Uh, look, a little bit of relief, um, to be honest. Um, you know, it's it obviously hasn't gone to plan the way we wanted this year to go, but um, you know, as I said, we've been working really hard, so um, it was just good, particularly for our younger guys, to get some reward for the work they've been doing and the improvement that they've been making, even though it hasn't been showing you know, in the results column. Um, you know, we've noticed internally the improvement that a lot of our younger guys have made and, um, and the experiences of 2020 are going to, um, you know, be really beneficial for them going forward and, and what they learn in this year is, um, is is what it takes and what it, what's required to, to get to the level they want to get to. And uh, what did you make of the song? Seeing everyone involved and mixing in the middle as well. Yeah, look, it was good. Obviously, we probably had we had more guys in the middle of the circle than we did on the outside, I think, which was um, which was yeah really refreshing for us to have some young guys come in playing their first win and um, you know really memorable for them. So. Yeah, it's something we can build on now for the next uh, three games as we move forward. David, how happy are you for Matty Nix? He was always pretty level-headed throughout the year when he was facing the media and that, but he's got to be laid off the shelf now. Yeah, look, I'm wrapped for Nixie. Um, you know, he's, he's done so much work with us to try and implement, implement a new game plan. Um, we've had a lot of change at this footy club, and then you add into the fact, um, you know, the challenges of 2020 and... Um, you, you add all that up and it's, it's been really difficult for him to, to come in and try and manage all these things and um, yeah, he's done a fantastic job and for us as, as players you know, we, we've um, been working really hard to try and get the results but um, we haven't been quite able to do it and um, last night we were able to do it which was fantastic and I guess for us moving forward we need to keep building on it. Why are we able to do it last night? Oh, look, I think it's, if, you know, from watching our, you know, if you've watched our games throughout the year, we've, we've had patches where we've played some really good footy, but we haven't been able to maintain it for longer than about three quarters at, at most. And last night was um, the first time we probably played four quarters all year um, and sustained, you know, a, a level of intensity. And, um, you know, we certainly saw signs last week against Geelong, against, you know, the Premier team in the comp that, um, you know, if, if we get our intensity and pressure around the ball right, we, we can match, you know, any team. Um, it's just a matter of how long we can do it for and that, um, and that's really been the focus for us, maintaining our consistency right throughout a game and um, it's building, it's building. We, we have obviously weeks where we, we don't get it right and, um, you know, we're well aware of that and we're working on it, but, um, you know, the graph is trending in the right, right direction. Oh, look, there's, it's never one reason. There's, there's always a multitude of reasons, I think. Um, yeah, as I mentioned before, we've had a lot of change at our footy club in the last 12 months. Um, we've had a lot of challenges, as every, every other club has, in terms of training and, and getting our group together and, and coming together and gelling as a group. And, um, so, you know, it's a number of different factors, but um, we've seen internally, we've seen a lot of growth, and um, although it hasn't shown, you know, on the scoreboard, um, we feel like that that's only a matter of time before that occurs. How many this is pretty good, though? Well, obviously, we've got three games to go, and, um, you know, we play three really good teams, quality opposition. So, um, for us, it's about maintaining the, the level of, intensity that we've brought the last couple of weeks and um, we feel if, if we can do that then we give, that, give ourselves a chance to be in the game and, and to get a result so it's, uh, it's pretty simple but we'll continue working on the things we've been working on and, um, and we look for that full quarter effort next week. How would you describe the game plan that you've got in you've got in motion now that you had last night against Geelong? Oh look I think you know, the game, the way it's played at the moment, you need to be able to 
win the ball around the stoppages and clearances and, and get it in your forward half. And, um, you know, I think we, we've seen in the last couple of weeks when we've, we've matched some good teams, you know, around the ball um, and get the ball into our forwards, give them a, an opportunity that we can be pretty dangerous. Um, you know, we think we've got a pretty dynamic group up there and um, if we can give them opportunities, they can um, go to work and, and do some damage for us. So um, it, it does start with what happens around the ball and, um, and that's what we've been really focusing on. Oh, not not necessarily, not that specific, I suppose. Um, you know, we're trying to move the ball quick like every other team, but um, you know, at times we we uh, we try and move it by you know through the opposition through hand, and then sometimes it's more the kick focus. So it does change depending on the situation in the game and who you're playing. And um, but no, we were able to move the ball pretty well last night at times, and. Um, you know, Hawthorne, you know, a really good defensive team. They set up well, so um, it was pretty pleasing to see us uh, cut through a few times. Um, not at this stage. Um, obviously, every player who's out of contract at the end of this season, um, you know, probably doesn't have that clarity at the moment, just because there's so much up in the air. But. Um, you know, I'm certainly keen to keep playing and I absolutely love the place and um, you know, my focus really is on the next three weeks and then um, you know, things will, will happen after that but um, you know, certainly uh, pretty clear that the next three weeks are um, about trying to move this group forward and that's, that's what we're trying to do. Um, look, I, to be honest, I, I don't think about it too much. Um, I, you know, I so I love this footy club, and um, you know the, the way that sort of my mind operates. It's um, you know physical capabilities, performance-wise. Um, you know, I still feel like I can contribute positively to this group moving forward. So um, yeah, I suppose in simple simple terms, that's where it's at for me. But. Um, yeah, as I said, there's, there's not a lot of clarity for a lot of guys in the whole industry, and that's staff included. So, um, you know, we'll obviously have to wait for the coming weeks and months for a bit more detail to come out before, um, you know, that clarity does, um, you know, come to those people. Is that hard on the first floor, not having that clarity? Oh, look, it, it's the nature of um, the year that we're in and the, the scenario. So. Um, it's been a difficult year for everyone and a lot of uncertainty for um, you know, so many people. So uh, yeah, we're no different. Um, you learn to deal with it, adapt, adapt with it. And I suppose we're, we're lucky we get to play a, a game of footy every week and we've got three of them to go. So um, you know, as a player, the focus really does come down to preparing each week um, and then going out and performing. And, um, it's, it's pretty simple for us at the moment, which is, um, you know, gives us that bit of certainty, I guess. Yeah, yeah look, you know, Tex, Tex has been, uh, he's been working really hard. He's, he's had a year, you know, he's had different challenges and, and some great milestones. And, um, you know, it's just good to, you know, not just see Tex get the reward, but as I said, a lot of our younger guys have been putting in a lot of work to see the, uh, I guess the smiles on their faces after the game, and um, yeah, it's it's yeah. That's why we play footy. We play to win, and uh, yeah, I was really pleased with it. you know all our guys who who got the result last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, Murph. Obviously, Murph was fantastic, and um, you know he's a real barometer for us in terms of energy and his uh, you know his pressure around the ball. So uh, look, he he's uh, we love what he brings every week, and. Um, and we know what we're going to get from him, which is um, ideal in a teammate. Yeah, yeah I, look, I, I understand he pulled up pretty well. I'm, I'm not over how everyone pulled up physically at the moment, but we'll see how that plays out over the next couple of days. But um, no, as far as I know, um, you know, everyone pulled up pretty well, and um, we'll, we'll keep moving forward to the Giants next week. Just quickly on the grand final, set to be announced in Queensland. What are your thoughts on that as the location? 
Um, yeah, well, if that is the case, then it's it's exciting for footy in Queensland, I guess. And um, you know, it's uh, I guess we you know still so much up in the air in terms of how the final series looks and, and all that. So yeah, it's pretty exciting for you know certainly the people in Queensland to get that opportunity to see such a, a big game. Um, and um, yeah, obviously, I uh, it's disappointing we can't be playing at the MCG for the grand final, but. Um, it's the nature of the year and I had to adapt and um, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for everyone up there. <laughs> um, yeah, well look, we're, we're not going to be involved so um, if, the, if the grand final was, in, was at Adelaide Oval, I'd, it was a year I wasn't involved, it, it would like to be that year. Um, not missing out on that. so. No, look, it, it is what it is. Obviously, Queensland have done a great job to get, you know, keep the season rolling. So, um, you know, it's a great reward for them. I guess looking back at that, do you think the SA government should have maybe been a bit more open to helping out the AFL a bit more in the stage of the season like Queensland were? Or, I mean, do you guys have to go after Queensland for the half game of like in the game of the sign by our defence or something? Oh, look, it's... Um, I think first and foremost, the state governments had to do what was best for the health and um, well-being of the community. So um, I guess all decisions were based around that, and um, you know you certainly can't uh, be begrudging any state for for prioritising that, um, and that's just the way it's panned out. Well, look, we, we, yeah, we didn't need any reminding um, into how good Brad is. He, um, he's had a couple of weeks off and um, he looked fresh and sharp and, you know, performed really well last night. So he's, um, he's a really important part of, you know, our team. How was it disappointing to be back in the midfield for the last couple of weeks? What kind of Oh, look, he's a quality player, you know, he, um, he's, he's taken a few weeks to get some continuity back into his footy and his training and, um, you know, we're starting to see, um, see that work now and, and he's, um, you know, obviously a, a, just a quality player, quality leader for us in there. He's, he's um, particularly centre bounces and stoppages and, um, you know, we all know what he brings and um, he's starting to get rolling again, which is really good. Thanks. Um, oh, look, I, we've had moments like that throughout a lot of games. Um, you know, th there's certainly times last week where we thought we were right in the hunt and playing really good footy and um, and controlling parts of the game against Geelong. So, um, you know, we, we certainly have felt like that throughout the year at times. Um, we just haven't been able to maintain it. So. But yeah, last night we, you know, felt like we we had control of the game for the majority of it, and um, we probably wasted a few opportunities as well, particularly early. Um, so that's you know that's one other thing we're going to keep working on because um, you know we do a lot of hard work up the field. We've got to reward ourselves when we we do um, you know get our opportunities in front of goal. Thanks, guys.